Yep. It finally happened. God, I just want to kill myself. It's by state trooper too. Now keep in mind, doing nothing illegal. Driving behind two McLarens. Under the speed limit, mind you. So a quick backstory here. I was uh, just driving my car uh, on the turnpike, just cruising along in the right lane. I passed the cop on my right side. Uh, he was just kind of sitting on like a little, a little kind of turn off area. And um, <clears throat> like I said, passed him, not speeding and he didn't do anything, and I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. You know, obviously, I'm like, I'm not doing anything wrong, so why should I worry about anything? About a mile down the road, I noticed him coming up behind me in the left lane. I was in the right lane, and um, he just kind of rolled past me slow. I, I was worried that he may get me for my car being too loud, so I wasn't really like on the gas, like hard, so I was kind of like lifting just a little bit, kind of like this. So he kept going past and kind of got to my front bumper and stopped and then went back. I thought he was just going to pass me and I was like, oh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to look at the car. I don't know. And he ended up falling back behind me, obviously got into my lane and put his lights on to pull me over. I was like, all right, whatever. I knew it wasn't anything bad. I was like, I wasn't doing anything wrong, so I'm going to pull over. He's probably going to get me because I don't have an inspection and emission sticker on my car. I'm fully aware of that. I decided to drive my car on a road with no inspection or emission sticker because I am planning on getting it inspected um, and obviously this car is emissions exempt. But either way, I'm planning on doing it and you know, that's that. Hello, good morning. I'm Trooper hey. McGuire with the State Police. May I please have your driver's license, registration, and insurance? Sure. That's the insurance. Yeah, that's the current one. I'm just gonna reach in my pocket and get my license out. Sure. What's the reason you pulled me over, sir? Uh, no inspection, no emissions, and your parachute is obstructing your license plate. Okay. Yeah, I've been meaning to get it inspected. We're just heading to a show um, in Philadelphia today. Well, how long have you owned the car, sir? Oh, I've owned it for about three, three, four years almost. Has it ever been inspected? Yes. When did it expire? I believe actually this year. It was, it, I mean, it's expired now, yeah. but it, it expired like the beginning of the year. Right. So That's fine. I just haven't gotten a chance to get inspected. I just got the car built, you know what I mean? And I just been kind of driving around just just to test it, but Yeah, okay. All right, let me check your license. I'll bring it back with you. Yep. Thank you. I guess my parachute sort of is restricting my license plate, but only at a certain angle, technically. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't say anything about how loud the car is. Maybe he does maybe he doesn't care about that. Maybe he just cares about the basics like, oh your car's not inspected. He didn't say anything about my exhaust, so I thought that's what he was gonna pull me over for. I really wish somebody could get a picture a thumbnail of this. <laughs> Steve Fast told me last night if somebody pulls his car over, that means you're just un American. My friends are up there. I don't know if you can see them pulled over in the distance. They're being good friends and waiting for me. So anyways, we're on our way to Philadelphia uh, for this like supercar meet that I was invited to uh, by Mike and Troy. And uh, I guess it's in McLaren, Philadelphia. And I figured, you know what? I don't have a supercar. I got two Camaros in the truck, that's it. So if I'm gonna bring a Camaro, I'm gonna bring this one and just make a statement. You know, might as well. So <clears throat> rather than be the guy that's trying to fit in with the, with the supercar ZL1 Camaro, I figured I would just bring this one and represent America. Uh, Nicholas, here's your driver's yes. license and your paperwork back. Okay. I was gonna say, uh, yeah. would it make it better if I took it off now? I mean, I just need, I my friends have a wrench. I just need the wrench to take it off. Take it's kind of a pain. It's kind of a pain, off. but like I could do it if, yeah. if that would be better that way for the rest of my drive and everything. Well, yeah, I mean, it would be great if you took that off because it is obstructing your license. No, I understand. Read it. And um, it's it's protruding too far past your rear bumper. So, okay. But, but, because it's part of your bumper, it's coming yeah. out from your bumper, it's not a load. Yeah. Uh, now, 
I didn't give you a ticket for it. Okay. okay. If you're getting a warning for the license plate, you're getting a warning for your emission schedule. Yeah. I gave you one citation. It's going to be for your inspection. That's that's fine. Yeah, yeah I so, understand. You know, I just want to want to be fair with you here. You, you yeah. know, obviously, you know, you should have the car inspected. No, I know. I and right? I'm planning on doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> uh, and I, I don't doubt you. And that's why you know I gave you one citation okay. just for the inspection sticker. Now, that citation you have to reply to within 10 days. You don't have to pay it within 10 days. You just have to respond to the court within 10 days with your plea of guilty or not guilty. Oh. You can do that by either going on the internet, there's a web address on there, or you can sign the bottom, tear it off, and mail it back in. The address to the court is on there along with your rights and obligations if you have any questions. Now, okay. the warnings, you don't have to do anything with. That's just for your record indicating why I stopped you today and the violations that I observed. They won't go right. in your driving record and uh, they won't remain with, with us at all. It's just, just for your, you know, you don't have to get them signed off or mail them back in. Okay. 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 And this was recorded with a video camera and a microphone. You're free to go unless you have any questions. Um, no, that's it. I, um, like I said, I can take it off. Um, just call my friends. They're sitting yeah, right I mean, up there. That's up if, to you. Do you want to wait? So I no, no. I mean, we can't make we can't make you take it off. I wouldn't make you take it off. Right. Uh, it's, it's completely up to you. Well, you, I don't want to get pulled over again down the highway. You know what I mean? You, by the next state trooper. Yeah, and that's the thing. If you drive down the road, uh, I mean, I'm not going to stop you. Again. If you get 30, 40 miles down the road, they're in a local or another police agency, and they, they observe that violation, and they want to stop yeah. you for it and give you a ticket. They certainly can. Okay. Okay. So that's your decision whether or not you want to remove that. Yeah, I'll just take it off because it's okay. probably going to be. The better, you know what I mean, better for me in yeah, the long just do, run. Do me a favor, if you're going to take it off, uh, move up, get off one of the exits or get over to a wide area somewhere or one of the rest. All right, I'll just wait you're, till, yeah, I'll just wait till the next. The next area is going to be Bowmansville rest area. It's in mile marker 286. We're at 279 right now. Well, you guys could pull in there. And, okay. You know, it's a big parking lot. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, you're free to go. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. So, uh, I don't know, do they wait till I leave or are they going to leave without he's, me? He's going to leave without you. I hope so because I don't want to start this car with him here. Very nice cop though, very nice cop. See, this proves a good point, guys. As long as you're nice and respectful to police officers, they're the same to you. Good thing he didn't see the nitrous in the back. And as you can see in that video, he got me for obviously inspection emissions and obstruction of my rear license plate. And um, you know, really, you can't see that plate if you're directly on it because yes, the chute is on the car. And the only reason I had the chute on the car was because we were going to a car show. I normally wouldn't. I'm just driving it around here. I just take it off and leave it, leave it in the garage. But it is a little bit of a pain. To, it's not like you can take it off in five seconds. But he got me for that. And the good thing is, he just gave me a warning because, like, you know, I can take it off. I know I can take it off. I told him. I asked him if it would be better if I could take it off. And he's just like, ah, oh, you know, it's up to you. He's like, I'm not gonna pull you over again for it. And he's like, I don't really care. Essentially, is what he was saying. He's like, if you want to take it off, you can take it off. You know down at the next rest stop. If now you're going to your car show, you can just leave it on. And he's like, but I'm not gonna say that another cop isn't gonna pull you over for the same thing, you know, 20 miles down the road. So he said it was really up to my discretion whether I wanted to take the shoot off or not, which is, that's pretty nice of him, you know? And as far as the emission sticker, another warning there. That's why in the beginning of the video when you saw me with the, uh, with the ticket, the citation sheets, it's extremely, <laughs> <laughs> like look at that. This looks like a receipt that I got from like Walmart. You know how the Walmart receipts are like 20 miles long and you bought one thing? Yeah. Like I said, I plan to have it inspected here this week if not if not very shortly. So um, I'm not worried about that. But according to the state trooper, as long as I'm not blocking my license plate and I have a current inspection and emission sticker on the car, that car is street legal. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to continue to drive the car on the street because I love driving it. Gonna get those stickers put on. Another thing I wanna say here in the video too is if you're nice to the officer, they will be nice to you. If you respect the officer, they're gonna respect you. And I've always been taught that, uh, whether for whatever the reason I'm getting pulled over, if I drifted through a stop sign or accidentally ran through a red light and I thought I was fine, it doesn't matter if I was speeding. It, it, just be respectful, you know? Doesn't mean you have to admit to what you did, but be, be respectful about it. Call the officer, sir, call it or ma'am if it's a woman, and they're gonna automatically know that you're you're respectful. And you know, I told the officer, I said, you know, I'm reaching in my pocket to get my license out. <clears throat> that makes him feel more secure. I'm not reaching in my pocket to pull a gun out or a knife. Don't be shady around them. If you're going to your glove box, say my uh, registration and proof of insurance is in my glove box. I'm gonna open that up right now. If you're respectful to the cop and you don't act like a douche or a dick they're gonna be respectful to you. And I can guarantee if I was a douche or an asshole, there would be three tickets here, not one. Either way, I mean, I figured this was eventually gonna happen, uh, driving like this, but oh well. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. I'll pay the fine, I'll get my inspection stickers put on, 
And that'll be that. So if anything, I hope this is maybe a lesson for some of you guys out there or a good, some, a good informational video for you guys that uh, have gotten pulled over in the past or like you're afraid to get pulled over. Oh my God, I'm going to go to jail. I'm like, no, you're not going to go to jail. Just be nice and respectful and the cop will generally be that way. There are some, there are some pricks out there, I must say. Not all cops are awesome and amazing. I do support the police. I support the men and women in uniform. That's another reason why I support my friend's company, Boost with the Blue. He's a member of local police department, good friend of mine. And he has, a, uh, he has an organization called Boost with the Blue. He's trying to basically unite car people and police officers. And it's something I think that... Uh, we should all be doing across the U.S. I think it'd be a really cool thing. Either way, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to share this video as well. And if you are coming here for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.